Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll call the Tuesday, May the 9th, 2017 uh, public hearing and re regular city council meeting to order. Uh, this time, I would invite anyone who wishes to participate in our invocation followed by the Pledge of Allegiance and ask this evening if, uh, if our freshman councilwoman is no longer a freshman, really, but if she would deliver the invocation followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Madam? Most great, all the citizens that have come out to the city council meeting and we ask that you look over our city take care of all of this residents city staff our fire police and all of the citizens these and all of the residents we ask in Jesus name I pray amen, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God Individual liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Okay, the chair will entertain a motion to waive the reading of and approve the minutes of April the 11th, 2017. So moved. Any discussion hearing it all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Close by the next. The ayes have it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the agenda this evening, we have a few presentations. Um, the first is Peace Officers Memorial Day. <clears throat> Would anyone like to come forward and receive the proclamation for Peace Officers Memorial Day? She. They all all here. I thought you'd start looking back hard at the rest of the boys no, and say, no, I'm not doing enough as it is. <laughs> That's good to see you. Good to see you, Mr. Mayor. I haven't seen you. Like two weeks, <laughs> and I'm glad to see that we're doing a proclamation because I read about it and I was starting to worry, but then I remembered we still had a meeting. So, um, Chief, thank you for your service, gentlemen, ladies that are serving as well. Uh, we are going to proclaim the whole month of May as Peace Officers Memorial Day. Uh, I'm just going to read this very quickly if you're okay. Yes, sir. The uh, Congress and the President of the United States in 1962 designated May the 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day. Uh, members of law enforcement agencies from the city of Hartsville play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedom of the citizens of our community, and we appreciate that. It is important that all citizens understand the duties, responsibilities, especially the hazards and sacrifices of their law enforcement officers and that law enforcement officers recognize their duty to serve the people of this community by protecting them against violence and disorder. The law enforcement officers in the city of Hartsville unceasingly provide a vital public service to this community, so we thank you. Uh, and we do want to remember that we do have a fallen officer. Um, remind me of his name. Dobson. And he was a patro uh, patrolman, right? Mm -hmm. Back then they called him. Patrolman. Patrolman, yes. Yeah, Thompson. Uh, and we are, just for the benefit of the public, working on a permanent memorial for, uh, for Officer Thompson. Uh, that was the very first fault that we'd have, I believe. If that, Mr. Historic, is that correct? That's correct. And hopefully the only. Hopefully the only. Hopefully the only. So, Chief, I'm going to hand you this, and I'm going to turn backwards so she can take a picture of you. You hold that up and smile for her. Okay. So she won't put my fat face in anything. You look pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. Oh, you tell him. Come on. Um, Madam Councilwoman, I'd like to congratulate you on something else. Huh? Chief, I would like to commend you and all of your officers on our recent winning of a DUI award. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a proven correlation between new cars, firing ranges, and and uh, bomb sniffing dogs that helps improve morale, right? Yes, yes, yes sir. Always helps during budget time. Okay. 
Um, building Safety Month. Who is here to receive the proclamation for Building Safety Month? Look at y'all fighting. Y'all both come on up. <laughs> So let me just, since you're here, to your horn, thank you all for what you're doing to, to transform not only the city, but the communities that we're trying to help make better. Um, you guys have a very tough job. I wish David were here tonight because David's got a very tough job of finding a balance between, you know, making sure that people are safe and helping a developer complete a project. So I don't know, um, other than buying you all uh, dinner on a constant basis, how to say thank you for the beating that sometimes y'all take in, in public. Um, and I mean that you guys, they got a very, when, when people aren't happy, they're not very nice and y'all do a very professional job. Building Safety Month, uh, we're going to proclaim again the entire month of May as Building Safety Month and we thank you for the work that y'all are doing and if you'll pass along our um, thanks to David as well. Um, I guess the fire marshal should be included in this as well because he plays an important. Okay, they're on conferences and they left y'all here. Thank y'all. I'm going to let y'all take a beautiful picture. See how much better this works? Thank you. Okay, so I would invite all of council to the front, please, if you would. We have a very special guest here this evening. Mr. Larry Frazier. Right. We'd like to invite him up. <laughs> We're going to invite the rest of the family in just a minute. But before you do, before we present this, we've got to get a few things straight. First, your coach was Don Atkinson? Yes, sir. Redheaded guy? Yes, sir. I tell you what, that is. Don loves Natalie. He is consistently, I was telling Bob, Bob says it's because he has insurance with him, but it's, he has consistently been a champion of the city and the things that we're doing. He's the first guy to say, things are going great. You guys need to keep fighting, keep up. And now I know where that drive for fighting comes because he taught you everything you know about boxing. That's correct. So tell me how bad it is. Is he your little brother or your bigger brother? That's my dad. That's, no, I'm talking about your brother. Oh, that's my oldest brother. Okay, so he's older. So he was bigger for maybe the first three years and then you ever took him? <laughs> How does it feel to have your little brother be a, a, a professional world champion boxer at age, was it six, when you when you first took on your first uh, first match? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe like three. <laughs> Uh, I hate it. I hate it for you, but your sister already told me that she could whip both of y'all at any time. I'm all about that. Yeah. Yeah. And so your mom's here to be very careful not to um, get y'all in trouble. But um, we want to say thank you for coming back home. Thanks for bringing uh, bringing your family here. And uh, I, I do want to say you started boxing at 11. Yes. Is that right? 11. Tell us what inspired you to start that. Well. When um, Joe Frazier and George Foreman fought, and George Foreman knocked Frazier down five times, I yeah. got highly upset by that. Yeah. But yeah. I decided so I'm going to start boxing back here and hope to beat him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, just so that you all know, he was inducted not only into the South Carolina um, Hall of Fame, but also the Marine Corps Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. So, not just one induction, but two. Yeah. The Marine Corps um, has got to be a special feeling. Oh, yeah. You know, like you said, there aren't that many men. So to be recognized amongst the few means that you're one of the best. Yes, sir. Do you want to give us, show us your, your poster? <laughs> <laughs> what does that look like? Yeah, Don, yeah. Don's 110 pounds dripping yeah. wet, yeah. Um, I wanted to do one of these, you know, title match things, you know, where you get up in there and they always end up fighting now because it's all 
yeah. on TV, but I was scared that they put it in the paper and it looked like we were going at it. So on behalf of council, uh, we want to honor May the 16th as your day oh, here in Hartsville. Hand I've ever shaken. Oh, wow. You know who else I should Ollie. All right. All right. All right. So, would y'all come up if you would? Big brother. Yeah. <laughs> 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 While they're coming up, do y'all see the, the Marine Corps Hall of Fame ring? Right? Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is bigger than the Super Bowl ring. You come stand right here beside them if you want, and I'll stand beside you. All right, let's get one of just their family. Okay. Now, uh, I want to get oh, one more. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, you have some special guests here that you want to introduce to everyone. So why don't we do that now? I have my Boston team, the one more round Boston team, and a family. Well, all y'all come up for it. Oh, where, where? <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> Y'all just squeeze on in. Everybody squeeze on in. Hey, good. 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 I ain't gonna look at a world champion. That's my attention for this team here. Wonderful. Let's give a round of applause. Alright, y'all make try to first. Y'all, <laughs> 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 no, I'm not gonna lie to you. Let me think of one. I spent all morning in the shower preparing for this meeting. Because in the shower it sounds amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Hartsville, South Carolina! Thank you, young men and ladies who were the next uh, boxing world champions. We're excited to see you all develop. 
And if you do a good job, um, you come back here and we will have the exact same proclamation for you. So work hard, fight harder, and does it win? No. Knock them out. <laughs> you don't have to worry about winning if you knock them out, right? You'll be mayor for the day. Mayor for the day. And if it's budget season, it might be for the month. <laughs> okay, that was my um, that was my Howard Dean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to move on um, to the manager update. And thank you all again for taking the time to come. All right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I have one more presentation? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we don't have to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I need coffee. No coffee comes when you have ADD, like coffee does the opposite. So you're not going to sleep until 5 o'clock and then coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 okay, so um, I apologize. <laughs> I just walked in with you. Would you like to go and then we'll get the new home? Okay. Yeah, come on. Come on. Okay. Y'all know Audrey Children will thank you for taking the time to come. Now, I'm here to thank you guys so much. Um, I'm here on behalf of Go Big Hartsville, which was not this past weekend, but the weekend before. It was a tremendous success, and I wanted to come before you guys and thank you so much for making it possible for us to have this event. Um, I brought you a little bit of information about it. I brought you some pictures about it so that you can see. Uh, we had approximately 1,500 people that we brought in from all over, and we're very, very excited about that. Uh, we did not have, we were very, very fortunate. We had wonderful police officers there and fire office, uh, firemen there, and we also had some safety folks. We did not have, to my knowledge, any arrests, <laughs> and we only had, I think, two people that fell out. So, and that was because of the heat and somebody tripped, but that's, that was good. Um, overall, it was, it was a very positive, very, very positive event. We had attendees that came from five states, um, including South Carolina, North Carolina, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia also. The Hampton, Fairfield, and the Mantisa were all 100% occupied, which is, which is always a wonderful thing. Also, Quality Inn and Landmark reported higher than normal um, res, uh, occupancy rates, so we're very excited. We had four vendors, all of them local. We did have offers to extend it to more vendors, but we were trying very hard to keep it to just local people at first. We really, really, really wanted to emphasize that this was a Hartsville event. So our vendors were um, Mezzo Forte, which if you were there, they had the greatest seafood bowl known to man, but it didn't do anything compared to their Haywood sandwich, let me tell you. Um, we also had the lighter side. We also had uh, retrofit and then vintage and then fizzles and then bottle and tap. And those were in the VIP section. Um, our, our beverage vendors sold out, and that's always good. Our food vendors have said that at first things were a little slow, but what we found out is that when the beverage vendors sell out and it comes closing time, everybody has to buy food. <laughs> so they had it. They ended up having a good night as well. Um, we, did, we, we did a lot on social media, and we looked to see where people were checking in, and we had folks checking in all over Hartsville. They had Folks checking in as a forte, lighter side, vintage, retrofit, rooftop, sand candles, rooster, Sophia's, Max, Ruth's Drive-In, Michael's Grills, Yogi Bear, and more. So it was really exciting to see folks coming in. And the posts that they saw were talking about, these are folks, many of them haven't been back to Hartsville in a while. So for us to have the opportunity to show off how our town has grown, and, and for them to see what an amazing community that we live in and that, you, that, that we have was really very, very excited. Um, 
the, the feedback has been incredibly positive. We've already gotten uh, requests and folks interested in participating next year. Our lineup turned out to be very, very good. Um, Pastor Frazier began our evening with an invocation. We had Sunoco Men's Club who, who started us off with some beautiful, beautiful music. We had a DJ that was there also. We had a local band called um, Friday Night Fist Fights that was there. And then we brought in a group named Tokyo Joe and they kind of did, they were our headliner. They played a little bit of everything. So we were very, very pleased with that. Um, I, I hope that, I do want to say special thanks. I had a note, special, special thanks. I have to say special thanks to Kareem and Jordan and um, Fire Marshal Brian Crowley. I, first of all, I have to tell you, I had no idea that you had to have fire extinguishers in tents. But Brian walked us through and made that whole process painless. Kareem, I cannot say enough things about this, this wonderful young lady. There seems to be a whole lot of red tape, as is true of any event. And she did a wonderful job of, of walking us through and holding our hands. Susie Moy was, was incredibly gracious about answering questions. I have to tell you, the city of Hartsville has an amazing team. And, and I just can't say enough good things, um, both for the city council to allow us to do this, uh, to support us in this manner, but also to have the personnel in place to make such an event possible. So please mark your calendar. You'll see me again April 14th next year, um, and, and we'll come talk to you again about it. Uh, if you have suggestions on how we can make this a bigger and better event, we want to hear from you. Um, we hope that you'll come join us, and we have t-shirts and hats for you as well. So, do you have an extra for brochure? No. I, I think you do. Okay. I got it. Okay. Um, thank so, you. thank you, Audrey, and your your uh, team. Y'all did a phenomenal job. People have to stop talking about it. Good. Probably the only challenge is everybody comes home Thank you. and stays with Mama, and nobody books the hotel. No, we, we, had, we had rooms everywhere. That's wonderful. So. Thank you. What's that? Thank you. 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 Kevin Johnson with us. Uh, he comes from the <coughs> time, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to go to you. He comes from uh, across the river down in uh, Bishopville. Uh, and uh, I asked him out of three new ones if they'd give me some person that won't fit through a door pretty well. And they found me one. <laughs> uh, Riley Free is, um, is um, he comes from Darlington City. So I'm a commandeer him. These guys, these two guys here just finished the academy. I had the pleasure and, and honor of going down and watching them walk this past Friday. It's tough. It's tough and they did it with blind colors and I'm very proud of them. And Riley, how many years do you have in there? Three. Three years. So he's, he's got some experience under his belt and I'm very proud. We, we're choicy here in Hartsville like we've talked about before who we hired. We did some background on these guys a lot and a lot of a lot of neighborhood questions and answers, and bingo, we got three great ones. So proud to have them here. And thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. I heard a um, I heard a story about Riker that when he went to qualify at the 50-yard line, that he'd moved back to the 800-yard line to shoot. 
because you know he's a sniper, he doesn't shoot anything close. It's got to be long and windy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. You're going to make it as hard as possible. Good deal. Thank good to see you all. Thank you, you all. Thank you guys. Yeah. You want to get them to shave that, too. That's nice. <laughs> How to get the guard. <laughs> Madam Manager, do you want me to announce you? No. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> coming to the center ring. Oh, wow. All right. Um, you'll see me. Standing five two five five feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Sorry. All right, so you might have seen video cameras around Marksville today because uh, MASC was in town filming for our achievement award. Nice. Thank you guys, nice video. Um, you'll see videos, video cameras <coughs> Thursday and Friday too. We'll be posing kids at the splash pad. Hopefully, it'll be warm enough. And all over town, um, and that is community videos that will go on our website. We can use to promote our school, so that's a really good thing that they're doing. Um, budget is um, going to be balanced soon. It's not there yet, right, Sharon? Yes, ma'am. Working on it. Um, just wanted to give you a quick update. So we're having a special meeting on the 26th. That should be on all of your calendars. And we 25th. Sorry, How about Friday. Thursday. Um, we will present a balanced budget hopefully at that meeting. The staff is working tomorrow. We have a finance committee meeting on Thursday, but we are working diligently on making that work. Um, working on finalizing plans for the water park, too. Um, that was presented several months ago, but hopefully, coming back to the council in the next few months with an idea. It will not, there, I don't think there's any way it can be good by next May. Um, I feel like it's going to take a following year just to make sure we get it right and get in under budget. That's great. And <laughs> under budget is key. Um, I don't have an update on the roundabout. The last I heard from DOT was that they were putting it out for a bid, and I haven't heard anything else. They said they would set up a meeting once the contract was awarded so we can have a lot of detail around. Did DNR give you any information back about the like? No. Oh, okay. Um, and then bids close at these two first for intersection improvements at these three intersections, and then I would expect work with the start by the line. I know we talked about understanding DOT's plan for um, traffic control. Have they, have they given us anything back? That was that they were putting out for bid. It came in the right numbers, and they would, we would meet with the contractor to discuss it. So, yeah, so we just we're very concerned about how they plan to detour and route traffic. We're on our third project manager with DOT for yeah. this project. So we're hoping that they will include us this time. And, that we can give them some feedback. So, okay, anything else? Okay, thank you. Um, items on the consent agenda will be received as information without objection. They stand approved. Unfinished business. Item six on the agenda public hearing and final reading of ordinance 4289 from Manageable Publish. Authorizing the lease of seven office spaces at 147 West Carolina Avenue to Governor's School Science and Mathematics Foundation. Okay, thank you. Any other business? Okay, we're going to move the um, you've heard the final reading uh, by title and presentation of the city manager. This time the chair will move to open the public hearing and entertain any comments on ordinance 4289. If you'd like to be heard on ordinance 4289, if you'll please rise, come to the front, state, state your name and address for the record, and please leave your comments in two minutes or less. Hearing that there are not moved to this public hearing and entertain any motions from the floor. Mr. Mayor, I have a motion that we please ordinance 4289. Second. There is a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Madam Manager, you still concur with this project? Yes, so this is taking over the rest of the space. Right. They already are releasing part of it, it's just the rest of the building. Okay. Um, is there no further questions or comments? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Those by nay. The ayes have it. Item 7 on the agenda, public hearing and final reading of ordinance 4290 to manage or publish. It's to authorize the sale of real property of the city of Hartsville and other matters related thereto. Take care Okay, you've heard the reading by title and presentation of the city manager. Um, at this time, the chair will open the public hearing and entertain any comments. Uh, if you'd like to be heard on ordinance 40, 4290, if you rise, state your name and address for the record, come to the front, please leave your comments for two minutes or less. Hearing that there are none, the chair will be closed public hearing. 
entertain any motions from the board. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion to pass ordinance 4291. There's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? 4290. So noted. 4290. Is there any further discussion? Hearing on all favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. Ordinance 4290 is passed. Moving into new business, first reading of ordinance 4291 at the Manual Public School. An ordinance of the City of Hartsville, South Carolina, amending and restating Section 10 38 of the City's Code of Ordinances, as most recently enacted by Ordinance 4115, dated May 7, 2013, to provide for the further implementation and adoption of the 2015 International Property Maintenance Code as amended, amending Chapter 54 nuisances, Article 3, General Property Grounds Maintenance, pursuant to Section 10 38 and other matters related thereto. Okay. You've heard the reading by title and presentation of the city manager. This time, the chair will take any motions from the board. Make a motion to pass on this 4291. Yes, any discussion? Yes. Madam? Mr. Mayor. Yes, ma'am. Um, in reading from 2006 and coming back up to uh, 2015, mm -hmm. I see some conflicts with the state laws. Um, I'm going to go ahead and vote yes, but I reserve the space for making amendments. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, so noted. Uh, are there any further discussion regarding 4291? Ms. Mack, did you provide those to city staff so we can run those by attorneys and help with Yes. It's chapter 15. 41. 15. 20, and then chapter 15, 31, 15, 30, subsection 2. Okay. So we'll get some feedback on that. And then we can do the notification on the hearing. Okay. And, and the morale issue as well. Okay. All right. Duly noted. Um, Madam Manager, if you will get that run up. The... Okay. Um, Hearing no further discussions, all in favor of first reading of ordinance 4291 signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by day. The ayes have it. Item 9 on the agenda is resolution 5 17 01, a resolution for approval of the police department to enter into mutual aid agreement with the city of Bishopville Police Department. Is there such a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by day. Resolution carries. Item 10 on the agenda. Resolution 5-17-02, resolution for approval to apply for the 2016 FEMA Fire Prevention and Safety Grant for training equipment for the Hartsville Fire Department. Is there such a motion? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. The ayes have it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have. Anything for the benefit of the council? No? Nope. We want to say thank you all for coming. Uh, this time the chair will entertain a motion to enter executive session uh, pursuant to the South Carolina Code of Freedom of Information Act, Section 30-4-70, Paragraph A, Subparagraph 1 and 2, for discussion of committee appointments and for discussion of negotiations incident to propose industrial park contractual arrangements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by nay. Executive session and thank you for coming this evening.